Hello everybody, this is Quiversy, and welcome back to Terraria, Journey's End. Last time we got past our first night, I would say survived, but that uh, would be a bit of a lie. And, uh, began exploring the desert. In this part, I want to go back... Uh, uh, what? Whoa, what?! Didn't expect that. I was going to say I wanted to go back and, uh... Maybe start building a bit of a base, now that i got a few items, but, uh, death just happened. You might notice that I look a little different. Uh, that was because when I went back to get the money that I dropped and mine the ore that was there, I stopped by the workbench and used the cacti I gathered on the way there uh, to finish the cactus armor set. Which is good because it has a set bonus of one extra point of defense. So that's quite handy. Uh... Didn't really get much else in between, as you can see. Oh, the one thing I forgot to mention, these fallen stars. Um, if you gather three of them, you can craft them even without a bench to make a mana crystal. And if you use it, it gives you 20 more mana, which is really, really nice. It only goes up to a certain point, and right now we don't really have a use for mana. But we'll get a use soon enough, I'm sure. And it'll be very helpful to have as much as we can then, so it's a good idea to stock on those. Alright. I need to get back to where I died and get my money back. I just want to finish exploring that little upper cave. I'm not going to break down to that really huge cave I saw because that would be suicidal. Then again, I think going back there at all probably is. I, I, I refuse to learn. Um, you know what? Let's... Oh, there it is. Let's build a little dirt bridge over this, this hole. That hole formed when I dug out the ore that was holding up that sand. Yeah, I don't need any more cacti, because I've got all the cactus stuff. I do have a cactus pickaxe as well, which is slightly better than the um, than the copper one that I had. Okay, got some more torches. More cobwebs, which is what I really want. I feel like I probably still need more, though, is the problem. Hmm. Ah, let's go a little bit deeper. Uh-oh. Where is it? That sound can only mean one thing. There's a worm somewhere. Let's get rid of this slime. I actually want to gather these fossils. I know that they're useful in crafting. I actually seem to remember these things being um, difficult to mine in the past, so they must have changed that. It's pretty cool. also seem to be, like, destroying multiple blocks at a time. What the heck? Okay, I see something off on the right there that makes me think of a sewer grate, and I have no idea what it actually is. <laughs> but I want to get the desert fossils first. What was that? Oh. It was sand. It was, it was sand. Don't worry, it was just sand. That's a cactus. Walks up to a cactus. Yep, that's a cactus! I got a very good close-up look at it when it smashed me, because that's what cacti do. Uh, be right back! Uh-oh. Uh, Okay, change of plans. I'm, uh, I'm in the hidey hole again because I got, I got stuck. Um, while I'm here, damn, I forget how to make, I, I forget how to make a bed. I think I need to convert the stuff into wool, but I can't make what I need. Uh, I kind of don't want to use the webs on anything else yet. Sorry, I'm just trying to figure out what all I can do while I'm waiting for the sun. Ooh, 
Actually, this might come in handy. How much ammo do I have? 31. Let's make a few wooden arrows. There we go. 800 ought to do. Because now I can shoot stuff with my bow. Oh, and it's nimble. It has extra speed. That's nice. Ha-ha! I got him! Come on. I can do this all day, you know. In fact, I'm kind of trying to. Free torches. Nice. Now, one thing I do know you can do. Yeah, one tile wide gas may not be able to work for melee, but it sure works for arrows. Huh. I thought if arrows landed, they would return and be grabbable again. Like if they don't hit a foe. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they changed that or something. I don't know. I know is I am glad to be murdering these zombies even if they do just run away when they get low enough Ooh, not this guy though he's a trooper all right let's see if I can get that demon eye ha hit him with the drop arrow Dang it. Get out of the way, zombies! I want to hit the demon eye. I'm going to be at this for a while, so I guess I'll just see you back at daybreak. This is... This is going nowhere. <sighs> Finally, the zombies are leaving. The sun is rising. I can get out of there. Ugh... I used so many arrows that I didn't have to use. All this just so I can go back and get my money. And make sure I didn't miss anything important in that little room. Before I go and actually build a home. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, there's some ore down here. I knew there was something. I was in there so long I'd forgotten. I will use this opportunity to mention that um, ore in this world is interesting because it'll, it, it basically goes in tiers and there's two different kinds of ore for each tier. And basically, you can get, um, like say, tin for example is the bottom tier, but it's either going to be tin or copper. Like, you always start with copper stuff. You know, the copper short sword, copper pickaxe, and copper axe. But you can get, um, like, like even if you have tin in, in your world, which I clearly do. And that's, like, the only way to actually get copper. And there's no real differences other than aesthetic changes, I'm pretty sure. There, there might be some minor um, differences between, like, weapons and armor and tools made from them. But I don't think there is. Either way... I think I've had enough of the underground exploration for the moment, so I'm gonna murder this antlion and then Fung will build a house time. Come on. I'm so glad he decided not to spit his babies at me, because that's what they do. Or whatever it is they spit. I don't know. They're spitting monsters and I don't like them. Actually, you know, before I get building, I'm going to do one last thing I should probably do. Let's seal this off while I do it, though. 
I'm gonna need some stone for a couple of the things we're gonna need to make. So I'm gonna get some stone. And good thing about stone is it is very abundant. I just need a lot of it. good for now. Let's pick up that workbench. Dig out of here. And now it's building time. Let's see. Now I just gotta pick a good spot. Let's head back near where the guide is. I wanna build near him. Ooh, that slime's got something in him. The cool thing about slimes is sometimes they'll have items inside of them and you can see it. That looks like it's gonna be a piece of ore. Iron ore! So, we have lead ore in our world. Iron ore is, um, the equivalent to lead. So, I guess that is a way you can get, like, different materials. Or, uh, the different ores. Alright, this looks like a good spot. Let's just level it out a bit. Fill this hole in. There we go. And chop down these two trees. I have no idea what you're saying to me, Cody. Something about water bottles and fishing. We'll be dealing with both of those at a later date. All right. Now. I suppose we should start by placing down our crafting bench. Hmm. Actually, no. Let's go down one more layer and build us a foundation. workbench, and I want to make wood walls. So walls are an extremely important piece of construction. Um, I'm also going to need a hammer. So the hammer can be used to destroy walls, which is basically the background stuff. And we use crafted walls to create our home. And the walls are important because they, if they are like in a lit environment, will prevent enemies from spawning. They also burn up real fast. Oh, and right there reminds me, I completely forgot. Um, one of the majorly hyped features of this particular update that I knew about was um, block swapping. So, like, there was a dirt wall there, then I was able to just replace it immediately with a wood wall. Didn't have to actually break it with a hammer. So that's pretty nice. Funny enough, I actually forgot about that until it just kind of happened naturally. <laughs> there we go, build a nice, big building. Get those walls everywhere. Come on. Oh, right, smart cursor. Duh. Here I am doing this the stupid way. There we go. Next. You can also plant blocks directly onto walls. Which is, of course, always nice. And I want to make a little bit of space there because I'm going to go back over here. And... Yeah, let's make cacti cactus door. And eh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Oh well. Wooden door. Plant that door. It's three tiles, not two. Don't know why I thought it was two. And now we have a door! Ha ha! <coughs> 
And then we will have Cactus Door facing the desert. Excellent! Ooh! Sorry, I'm fascinated by the fact that the door just opens and closes as you walk through it by itself. Because I don't think it did that in the past. Okay. Next. Aha! This is why I wanted to get all that stone. A furnace. So now, I can smelt my bars. Or smelt my ore into bars. Sir? Away with you! This is a no slime zone! Rude slimes invading your personal space. Okay. Now we're in business. Uh. I feel like I'm still. Uh oh! Come on. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him! Okay, I need to make a temporary roof. You know, while I'm here, you, crafting, I'm trying to figure out silk requires a loom. I know I need wood to make a loom. So how do I make a loom? Oh. So many campfires. A lot more than I thought there were. <laughs> Wait, what the? You can make marshmallows? And put it on a stick? <laughs> oh man, I can't wait to find marshmallows. Ooh. Mini leaf walls, those are cool. Okay, uh, let's see here. Table, bench, piano, bed. So to make a bed, which is what I've been trying to do, I need silk and wood. But to make silk, I need a loom. Where's the loom? Up, 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 up. It requires a sawmill. How do I make a sawmill? Oh, jeez! I did not even see him. Slimes. It has been really rainy. Okay. Sawmill. How make? Oh! Forgot about that. Uh, sawmill. I need a chain and any iron bar, so... I think I can use this to make a chain. Uh, ba -ba 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 chain. Plus three range can be placed. Oh, right, it's like a rope. So I need to make an anvil. How do I make an anvil? Sorry about my phone going off. Oy. It's a process. Okay. I think I have everything I need to make it. I hope. Anvil. Can I make anvil? Good lord. No, I can't. Which means I don't have the right tool. Hey! What do I need to make an anvil with? Because I know I've got enough lead. Where's the anvil? Where, where was it? There it is. Requires a workbench. What? But I was just at the workbench. Okay, lead anvil, check. Chain, check. Uh, da, da, da. Sawmill, check. Loom. Sawmill, crap. Loom, check. Silk. Check. 
bed, please? No? I don't have enough silk. This has been an exercise in futility! Excuse me while I light the room. Well, may not be able to do that, but I can do one more thing. If I go here and I use the crafting window I keep forgetting exists, and I actually craft the thing, I'm going to plop a chair in here. And if I click the housing button over here, this housing is suitable. I can now click on the guide and plop them in. As long as your room is sealed off, has walls all over, has a door, has a chair, and has a table of some sort, in this case the workbench, then uh, you can house an NPC inside. So I'm going to talk to him. What does happiness say now? Okay, he's happy. I guess that's how that should be read. Is this anything else? No, it just says it's occupied. Okay. Yeah, you can do that to, like, check housing situations and all that. Anyways, I think that is going to do it for now. Next time on, uh, on Terraria, I need to find some more cobwebs so I can make a bed. But I'm probably going to start by building the house up a little bit. Uh, getting some more wood and stuff like that, because we can get some more NPCs to move in just by having houses available. And that would be oh so helpful. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.